Hi, and welcome to Sunset Rewind, coming to you from the Sunset 17 studio. Today, we begin our season preview of the upcoming season for the Sunset League. We're going to start off with Newport Harbor. Coach, what can you tell us about them today? Well, Newport Harbor is coming off an outstanding season. Last year, they won the CIF championship. In fact, let's go back to that game for a minute. Last year, they're on the road at Temecula Valley in the finals, down 21 points in two different situations, came back. And when you're in a championship game down 21 points, it feels like you're down 41 because this is it. This is the finals. And to start off as slowly as they did, it's heartbreaking. But they got back into that game, led by two outstanding receivers. The first one, of course, is Cash and Hingem. He's back. He's an all-CIF quality wide receiver. On the other side will be Josiah Lamarque, Lamarque, excuse me. So again, two outstanding receivers coming back, both all-CIF quality. Of course, the big question is who's going to throw the ball? To right. Them? you got great route runners, but you got to get the ball in their hands, obviously. Well, and let me introduce Sunny Hills transfer, Colton Joseph. He's a quarterback, runs a 4-5-40. He was clocked at a camp. Wow. He's got a 4.2 GPA. So, you know, you look at his speed. You look at his GPA, he's a smart, you want Impressive. your quarterback to be a smart guy. So with those outside weapons, he's definitely be a threat. So I'm thinking offensively, you know Newport Harbor's going to score some points. Of course, what's the old saying in football? Defense wins championships. So what can you tell us about their defense? What do they got coming back there? Well, how about team MVP? Carson Diavola, he's a senior defensive back. Led the state in tackles for a defensive back. So, you know, you should think DBs can cover and all that stuff, which he can do. But when they're leading in tackles... Yeah, you think a linebacker, linebacker might be doing that or something. He reminds me a lot of like a Troy Polamalu. Remember okay. the Hall of Fame right. from the Steelers? Absolutely. He plays defensive back, but he'll come in that box. He's aggressive. And it's hard for offensive coordinators because when you're scheming and game planning, you know, you're drawing up the X and O's against the defensive linemen and the linebackers. You typically don't account for the safeties. Well, Carson creates that problem, so certainly that's something offensive coordinators are going to have to focus on. Of course, at outside linebacker, they got a junior Jacob Carlone, keep an eye on him. He plays receiver on offense, so clearly he's the fast guy. So anytime you've got linebackers who can play receiver on offense, you know you're dealing with the team that's got a lot of speed. Also, Coach Loft Lofthouse told us about Billy Riley and Garrett Emerson. They're two cornerbacks. They're track guys. So, again, kind of seeing the trend here with that speed. So they're going to be able to cover pretty much any type of receiver they face throughout the whole season. They'll certainly have the speed to catch up with them. We'll find out. Now, again, we talk a lot about offense and defense, but don't forget special teams. Harbor's got a kicker by the name of John Richardson. Kicks it 55 yards at practice without oh, wow. a tee. Now, understand, practice is different than a game. There's not a long snap. There's not a hold. You don't have 11 defenders coming after you. But the fact that he can kick it 55 without a tee shows you his range. So, honestly, between the offense, the defense, and special teams, I think Newport, Newport Harbor's in a great position to defend their CIF championship. What's their schedule look like this season? Well, the one game I'd love to cover, and maybe our boss can get us some tickets, is at Farrington. Of course, that's in Hawaii. All oh, right, the Hawaii game. That Week would be zero. awesome. They're, uh, they're on the road. Yep. They're definitely going to log in the frequent flyer miles. Then they're going to play Marina, which is an old Sunset League opponent. Jay Sierra, that's Trinity League. Right. Capo's always solid. Shibuka Hills. So they got a pretty solid non-league schedule. Then they get the bye going into league play. So that's kind of a nice time to reassess where you're at, evaluate your players, and then determine what you want to do going forward. How about their keys to success for this year? What do they got to do to be successful and, and to repeat as CF champions? Number one, air raid. You got two of the best receivers in the league. Use them. Number two, win the Battle of the Bay. I've got some friends at Ohio State <laughs> that, you know, last year they were 10 and 2, right. won the Rose Bowl. And if you talk to Ohio State fans, they said that year was barely tolerable because the Michigan loss. They lost to their rivals. So right. you got to right. win your Absolutely. rival games, right? Lastly, hey, defend your title. I mean, they're the only team in the Sunset League that won the CF Championship last year. And I can tell you as a coach and player, collecting championship rings is fun. But you know what's better than one ring? Two. Two rings. And a lot of these guys have a chance to do it. So keep an eye on Newport Harbor. they got a lot of talent coming back. And I really think they've got a chance to win that title one more time. Thanks, Coach. That's been our review of Newport Harbor for this upcoming season. We'd like to thank our producer, Murphy Cargis, Cole Menzinger, our assistant producer, and Taryn Rodriguez, who is our social media coordinator. On behalf of all the Sunset League teams, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and God bless you.